Good morning. How is everybody this morning? It is Monday, uh, the last week before Halloween. Guys, it's a wonderful time of year. I love Halloween. I just went to an amazing haunt the other night, um, about two hours from me. It was worth the drive and totally worth the time because it was just an epic haunt. Um, I did just wake up, so don't mind me. I have no makeup on. I'm just kicking back in my sweats. Um, nothing like relaxing in your sweats, um, especially in the cooler weather. So um, today I wanted to kind of do a plant video with you guys. I know I did the plant tour, but I wanted to share my actual plants with you, or at least some of my special ones. I'm not going to show you every single plant because I would literally be here all day. Um, coffee is important. Oh, sorry, I'm watching my dogs. I would literally be here all day. So instead, I'm going to show you this video. I'm trying to find a better way to give these plants lights than a million little of these plant lights kicking around the room. If anybody has any ideas, please, please, please leave them down below because I have a bunch, as you see around the room, <clears throat> a ton of plant lights. And I've seen rooms that don't. I don't get a lot of light in here, though, so my plants are thriving. Oh, you can see my Monstera Delicios is doing beautifully. Um, but, you know, if you have any ideas for me, that would be amazing. Oh, I have new growth on my spider plant. All right. Um, so, yeah, please leave those ideas down below. I'm super excited to hear about them and maybe find a way to do this that I was unaware of. Um, coffee. Coffee is so much needed right now. So I'm going to flip the camera around and start showing you just a couple of my favorite plants um, and we'll go from there. We might have to make this a two-part video, but let's flip. All right. So we're going to start with this one right here. So this is my philodendron mycan. Um, and I did start using these little ties to go to the wall, which hold it and let it grow on the wall. It seems to be in its prime growing because as soon as I did that, I started to get a lot of these little um, reachers. So they're reaching out for new growth, like look at this one. Uh, so it seems to be pretty happy. However, these little stickies, I will say, they are amazing, but they fall a lot. So be aware of that. I don't know if it's the paint or what, but yeah, they fall. All right, so let's start over here. So this guy right here is a um, string of hearts, and I actually propagated this. Let me put it under the light a little bit better. So I actually propagated this from its main plant, which I'll take you to really quick, which is hanging right here. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, my bird of paradise is in the way. So I actually propagated this from that, and she's doing really, really well. She's got a lot of new growth, just doing really, really well. It's actually two plants I put in here, and look, they have babies. Let's see if I can get it to focus, there we go. So. I'm super proud of that. I'm very happy that my propagating plants are doing well. Um, this is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Hurina cactus, and I believe it's the Zebrina. And it's doing really well too. I propagated those as well. Here's another one I propagated. These are the, like my, um, my propagation station pretty much up here. Excuse me, Myers. Um, these are not, these are just seeds I planted, some flowers, silver princess, forget-me-nots. It's because I wanted some color in the room. Um, air plant. This one's not doing too, too good, but this one is. So I'm leaving it be and seeing what happens with it. I propagated this as well. It's a form of a peperomia, I believe. Um, I just, to be honest with you, I the name is completely out of my brain right now. Um, these are just flowers, and then this is nasturtium, and then these are uh, cosmos, so they're doing really well. Of course, I got one of these little guys right here that's gonna keep my buggies away. Um, I love this. Forget the lingering darkness in your scars and pour so much light into everything you touch. The universe will have to create brighter stars once you're gone. Absolutely, absolutely adore that by D. Antoinette Toy, or Foy, sorry, not Toy. So I propagated this guy as well. I've got a couple philodendron. So this is a pothos, 
but I've got a couple philodendron micans that I've propagated and they're doing really well. Once again, this is my propagation station. Here's, oh, sorry about that card, guys. It's a little bit inappropriate, but it's hilarious. Um, so this Hurina is doing great. It's got new growth everywhere. Take a look at my mother of thousands. Okay, so I was silly and I decided to put like four or five little, little dongles. No, they're not called dongles. I don't know what they're called, but little uh, babies into this pot of mother of thousands. And they're growing all together. So this plant is going to be massive because it's like nine plants in one. I'm not sure if I'm okay separating them once they start growing like this. If you guys know anything about that, please let me know because I don't know if I can separate it if the roots are all tangled, but there's literally one, two, three, four, at least five or six plants I can count in this pot. And I have one plant growing behind me that's massive, so I can only imagine what this thing's gonna look like. These propagate really fast and really well. This is just some cress. Here's another one I propagated. As you can see, it's Love and Life. I propagated this baby as well, and it's got like a ton of growth. It got huge quick. It was only one little stem when I stuck it in the ground. So it's happy. It's in its element. So we're gonna leave it in its element back there. This is some basil. I've already had some, which I enjoy. This is my monkey tail cactus, which I'm trying to propagate. Some of them feel like they've rooted, some don't, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's move down here. So here's my Zabrina. See how you can see a couple of the stems in the back that look like they're dying? I'm gonna get rid of these because they just look nasty. Um, I'm not sure why they're like that, but this up here is a very strong plant with lots of blooms. There's a, oops, sorry. There's a new bloom about to come right here, and that's my Zabrina um, cactus growing. She's beautiful. So these are just, I propagated this little one too. This is the original plant of the one that's up here that I showed you two of that I have propagating. This guy. And it's doing really, really well. Like really well. Denver! Sorry, they're eating my, I had to yell at his name because he's eating my puppy's food. I propagated this guy and I just noticed this new growth this morning. So I am super excited about that. That's really cool. That is actually this guy right over here. So that's the first time I propagated that, so I'm very happy about that. Um, this is a newbie right here. I didn't propagate her, I got her, and she is just beautiful. I don't remember her name though. This is one, these are all propagated plants, guys, mostly. Here's my red polka dot that I just got, and she's got tons of new growth all over her, so she is happy. I have a cactus that is very well rooted that I propagated. See, more. These are all babies that I am working with right now. My Brazil, lots of new growth. My Hoya Carnosa. This is my um, wild pineapple ca uh, cactus plant and it's got bunches of babies underneath. So it's happy as well. That got a lot bigger than it was. There's my Hirina again. I have a couple of those. And then we've got my Zinnia. And this is my uh, Napoli Knights Peperomia, which is doing really well. Looks like we've got some new baby leaves coming in there. So over here is my spider plant. This is what I was telling you about. I have new growth right there, but look at this new one. This one I'm like the most proud of. It actually looks like a bird of paradise. But look at that. It's growing towards the light, which tells me it's liking that light. I can see it leaning. So I'm going to do this and turn her so that she stands back up and the back gets some light. But look at these beautiful leaves, guys. I am so happy with this plant. Some of the tips are a little bit brown, but she's got moisture and she's just gorgeous. I notice as this one keeps getting older, the leaves get wider and the variegation is so cool. So I'm very happy with her. All right, so we'll move down to the bottom two shelves in a moment, but first I wanna show you my Monstera Deliciosa. Guys, when I got her, she was not this big. She grew unbelievably, like it's insane how fast she grew. 
This is one of my favorite leaves. Look at her. I mean, like, I just dusted her the other day because they do accumulate dust after a while. So you have to be kind of careful because um, I guess it stops the production of, um, I can't think of the word, but it's it stops it from getting what it needs to grow. So I am super excited to see where this plant goes. It had a lot brighter light before, but recently I moved it and I put some white lights and some red and blues, more white lights on this side, so that it's getting it from all directions. So I think that's why it's spreading out. Now, a lot of people have said that if I stick it on a thing to grow up, it'll, it'll grow. I'm probably gonna stake this one up at least because see how it's spreading? It's getting so big. Um, I've got this new beauty about to open. I'm so excited. Look at, and she's, she's got splits on her. So that's going to be an absolutely stunning leaf when it opens. I'm so excited that she'll fill in that space. Um, I've noticed too, these are some of the older leaves that when I got the plant, there was two that were ripped that I left because they were too pretty to rip off. Um, but what I, one thing I've noticed is the more sunlight it gets, the more perforation it gets. So, or perforation, should I say. So um, I really kind of like that because it tells me where the plant needs to be and uh, what the plant needs, kind of. I've got a new baby coming over here as well. Um, I mean, it's just amazing. This plant is just amazing. I can't say enough about her. So I'm very excited for her, but I need to find a way to stake her up because this one is starting to lean and I think I need to just like put a stake in there and hold her there or maybe a moss pole. That's what somebody had said, but she's getting so tall that I think a moss pole is going to be not strong enough. So once again, if you have any ideas for that, I would appreciate it because I'm still really new to this and look at her. She's just gorgeous. She's going to take up the whole room if I don't do something. Um, and I'm okay with that because she's just gorgeous. <laughs> it's like my jungle. I love her. She's absolutely beautiful. All right, so then we've got this amazing rare plant down here. Have you ever seen a plant like that before? I mean, they're they're very, very rare and they're extinct in the jungle. Myers, Myers, hi. <laughs> this is my voice. Um, so let's take you down over here. Oh gosh, I'm getting old, guys. All right, excuse me, Myers. So here's some more plants that I propagated. There's my creeping Charlie in the back, one of my favorite plants to propagate. There's another one of those guys up there. There's another string of hearts. These, I've now had two flower. I am so thrilled. I never have seen a Lithops flower, but these have been flowering. This one, as you can see, it just opened yesterday. It'll open again today with the light. The one over on the left has died while the plant has, um, but the the stones are still there and they're just, they're doing amazing because they're starting to stick up out of the soil. Um, the one in the back, I'm a little concerned about this one back here. But other than that, they're all doing really, really well. Let me move my watering can. There's my uh, Parodia Hasselbergi. Bergii, I don't know, but it's doing really good. Now, I did move this one out of there and it was doing amazing, but ever since I moved it, it's really squishy. And it's not looking so hot. I'm leaving it really dry to see if maybe that'll work. But I think it got root rot. I'm almost positive because it's just icky. But um, I'll probably have to buy another one because I really enjoyed that plant until it until I moved it. I shouldn't have moved it. But I felt like it wasn't getting what it needed in that, that uh, container back there. So if it doesn't come back, I'll get a new one eventually. Mother of Thousands, I decided to stick two in here instead of five and see if that worked. And it actually, they are rooted. I just put them in here two days ago and they are already rooted. They root so quick. So if anybody needs Mother of Thousands, uh, here's a baby spider plant. It's got new growth on it. These are microgreens. Um, I use them. That's, that's why there's only one left. Um, here's another Creeping Charlie. And... Another peperomia. And then down here, we've got our edibles, basically. So we've got marigolds and Johnny Jump Ups and, um, you know, 
just everything, all the plants are edible down here, except, well, except for this and this. There's a few that aren't. So, for instance, we've got lavender. This is a peach tree. Yes, I'm trying that. This is marigold. This is dianthus, calendula, pansies, chives, basil, uh, purple basil. Ch there's just all the edible flowers. Of course, this is not. Stop, stop, buddies. This is not, this is not. These are just propagating. But then we've got the silver begonia that's propagating. But I have a bunch of edible flowers and herbs down here because that's important as well because I like to live off my land. All right. And then we've got the bird of paradise. She is doing beautifully right now. I'm excited to see what these plants do in the summer because I want to see blooms. Um, I did notice the other day, I don't know if you can see her, but she has a baby coming right here. So I'm very excited because this is actually my favorite flower in the world. Um, absolutely love the bird of paradise. So when you come over here and I've got her right here. She's gorgeous. I've got my string of hearts and my favorite plant that I like. I love my creeping Charlie. I love her so much. Oh, there's my Papa. Hi, Papa. It's my bearded dragon. So I absolutely love my Creeping Charlie. I think she's beautiful. She's very Victorian and like elegant. This right here is going to be the death of me. This is the Orange Torch Ginger and it's a fully edible plant. These leaves are old, so they're starting to die off. I've given her water. I've tried drying her out. I've changed the lighting. I can't seem to figure out what this plant needs because every time I think I figure it out, watch out, buddy it starts to produce leaves and then they get crispy as they, they come open. Like this one's about to open, but it's crispy. So I'm not sure if that means it needs more water because with the soil monitor, look. Watch, hold on. Now that's all the way in the soil and it's about five, which is moist, right? But back here, we've got a five as well. So I'm not sure if she needs more water or what. It's sitting at a five. Um, I don't I don't know what to do. Once again, if anybody has any ideas, please let me know because like all of these these new growths right here, I'm about to cut them off. They're all coming out crispy, like, and I'm sad because it's new growth and it's crispy. So I'm not sure. Look at it. I'm not sure why it's so crispy like that. I want this is this would all be beautiful new growth if I knew what the heck was wrong with it. So please, if you know, let me know because um, I'm not sure what to do. She just doesn't look happy. She's got light. She's got water. I don't know what to do. So I'm hoping that she's not a loss, but I don't know. All right, and then over here, I'm not a huge fan of these. I have this one, and I have her. They have a ton of new growth all over them. I'm just, they're not my favorite plants. They look fake to me, and they're just not my favorite. I don't like pink. Um, very little pink do I like, so I don't know. I'll probably end up finding these guys at home. This over here is another one of my favorites. It's the Sensio Raindrops, and I absolutely love her. I love the feel of them. I love how they just hang and they're just, they're just fun. They're a lot of fun. I've got my staghorn over here. That's what pretty much started this whole mess. I got one plant and boom. Um, my aloe vera. Here's another creeping Charlie I propagated that's looking beautiful. Um, these are plant grow lights. Then we've got my apothos. We've got my blue, um, Philodendron, I believe. Yep, Baltic Blue Poth. No, sorry, Baltic Baltic Blue Pothos. I always get them confused. So Baltic Blue Pothos, and then that's my regular Pothos. Tons of new growth on both. They're both very happy. Okay, guys, you ready for this? I'm so excited. All right. So, if, well, first off, this is my little uh, humidifier. When you hit the button, it makes a choo-choo sound, and it's just great. And it shoots the water up from the stack. I absolutely love my um, humidifier. So I thought that she just wasn't doing good. This is the Taka chenteria, um, or the bat flower. It's a bat orchid. 
I thought she wasn't doing good because her leaves just don't look the happiest. And But then I noticed that she had new growth. I am stoked. I'm just hoping that new growth is healthy. It looks to be pretty healthy, but it worries me because some of my stuff is dry. I want to see her flower. So I am so excited. I mean, some of her leaves look really healthy. And I, I would like to figure out how to make these leaves the darker green. So if anybody knows, once again, I am open to suggestions. There's my philodendron Brazil, I believe. Yep, philodendron Brazil. She's doing good. She's sending out little reachers. So she's happy. Excuse me, pup pups. So this one is that Peperomia. I love her. I love dangling plants. Um, I still have to find plants to hang from my ceilings, but I haven't transferred plants yet. This is an orchid that a friend bought me that I'm absolutely in love with, and I'm going to see it's grown tremendously, and I'm going to see how it does this summer. This is my uh, Diphenbachia, and she's got a bunch of new leaves coming. So, I don't know if you can see that. Look at the, and look at the variegation on her. She's beautiful. I did just pick up this right here, which is a snake plant, just a different form. Um, and already, she's got a baby, so she's happy. These stand nice and tall, which will be kind of cool to watch grow, because I don't have anything like it. Myers. Um. This is the mother of thousands. Guys, this was the tiniest little plant when I got her, and now she's got bazillions of babies and like has grown unbelievably huge. She just dropped a baby. They just go everywhere, and when they go everywhere, they grow. I'm even growing some in my Bird of Paradise container. Um, it, it's just unbelievable how big she got. I can't even explain it. This is my fuzzy pet petiole philodendron. So I didn't think she was doing very good the other day because one of her leaves that I looked at, Myers, come here, buddy, leave him alone. Sorry. One of my leaves that, um, that started to come look like this. And I was like, oh, so I gave her a really nice strong water and she seems to be putting off some really good sprouts now. I'm turning this wrong way. Sorry. So I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping that's what saved her. You know, she just needed some light and some water. This is another orchid of mine doing really well with a new growth in the center. This right here, these are my two most expensive plants, guys. I decided after I started doing pretty decent with plants, I was like, I'm going to spend a little bit of money and get myself two really special plants. So this is the Pink Princess Philodendron. I got her on October 2nd, and she was not this big. She is happy growing, and look at the new leaf about to pop out. I am psyched. I can't wait to see what is coming from this right here, because there's, there's a little reacher right there, too. I am so excited. Like, so excited to see what that's going to look like. Um, I don't see any other new growth just yet, just that one. Um, I do see a bunch of, like, little reach, like the little... Um, growth points and whatnot. So hopefully she does really well. She seems to be happy. This leaf was closed when I got her and it's starting to open. I'm noticing that they open dark and they don't really get green green or that pink color right away. So I'm not sure if that takes a while or how that works. So if anybody has any knowledge to that, once again, I'm still really new to plants, guys. Um, so Anything you might know about the philodendron uh, pink princess and when they get lighter. It seems like it's getting lighter as it gets older, but um, I don't know if that's just me. The other one I just got that has a new baby, and I did not repot her yet. Um, I will shortly, but they seem philodendrons seem to be happy in smaller pots. So this is the uh, white wizard philodendron, and I don't know if you can see her leaf, see the white on her. So she's got white variegation. Let me put her down here so you can see her better. Sorry, my feet. So she's got white variegation. And the cool thing about the white wizard is you don't know where the variegation is going to pop up. So that's pretty much just green. This one's got some white. This is the most um, white. This one's 
you know, that's how it looked when I bought it. But it looks like it's got a second plant and it looks like there's a baby coming. So I'm really excited for that. She's still wet, so I'm not gonna water her. I'm just gonna turn her, let her other side get some sun. Um, this is my Sencio. It's like the chalk stick. So it used to look like this. I don't know what happened, and I don't know if I'm supposed to cut it and repot it or what, because now they're getting like lanky and not as attractive as when they were chalk sticks down here and nice and thick. So I'm not sure how to get it back to this thickness. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut down here and let it grow um, or what. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do with her. She's just growing and growing and growing taller and taller. I, I seem to have plants that grow tall and I'm afraid to cut them. I know you're supposed to, but I don't want to ruin them. Um, this is my ZZ plant. She finally got a little bit of something kicking off over there. They don't grow very fast, so I thought she'd be a lot cooler, but eh, she's all right. She's not my favorite, but she's cool. This is one of my faves, and she keeps growing like crazy. Look at her. This is my Peperonia, Peperomia, sorry, Obtusa folia, or rubber plant. Look at the variegation on these leaves. Look at how beautiful she is. I love her so much, like so much. And once again, I don't know if I'm supposed to cut her because I don't want to ruin her. She's just got new growth everywhere and she's beautiful oh, I love her so much I want her to get bushier and I don't know if I should repot her in something different because I feel like she's just going to keep going straight up and not out and I don't know how to get her to go out um I also don't know how to propagate this one because the leaves are a little different they're thicker at the bottom so I'm not sure see what I mean I'm not sure how to propagate that one I don't know if you cut from the edge or what and then behind it is my um, Atusa folia as well, rubber plant, just a different species. And you'll see that I have this one propagating everywhere. I also have her staked up a million times and clipped because she just has a mind of her own and just pfft, goes everywhere, which I really like the craziness to her. So that's why she's one of my favorites as well. And she grows so quick. Um, yeah, so... Let me stand up. I think the last plant, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't do my middle shelf yet or my top shelf, sorry. So this is the Hoya Carnosa or wax plant. Um, my mother gave this one to me. Um, she's growing, she's not super vibrant and I'm not seeing a lot of pink. I don't know if she needs more sun or fertilizer or what, but I mean, she's healthy. She's not soft, she's healthy. So she doesn't need more water, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, so that's my Hoyer Carnosa. This is my Neon Pothos. Absolutely love my Neon Pothos. So cool looking and new growth coming. There's my Watermelon Peperomia back here doing really well. I'm, some of the leaves in the back, let me spin her so that she can get some light this direction because I opened this, the blinds her sun. Look at her. <laughs> This is my gold violin philodendron. This leaf is starting to open. I'm so thrilled. I can't wait to see it pop up. The leaves, I think, go in on both sides and then come out. But these ones aren't like that. So I'm hoping that that's this plant. Because when I Google it, that's what it looks like. And that's what this one looks like. But I'm not sure if that's the correct one I'm thinking of where they kind of roll in and then roll out if that makes sense. But we'll see when this new leaf opens. I love watching this. It's so cool. Nature is so cool. This is my um, jewel orchid. And I love how sparkly she's doing. She was dying at one point. Finally found the right light for her and she's happy. There's my other Hoya Carnosa doing really, really well. Lots of growth points. Lots of pink. Look at tons of reachers. I mean, she's doing great. So I'm hoping she'll flower this year. I mean, I just got her, but she's so cool. This is my Hoya public, Publicalix, Publicalix, I think. Um, tons of new growth points. Very cool. I love the variegation. It's just sporadic and fun. This is my Echeveria, once again, growing like crazy and going straight up, and I'm not sure what to do with it. I need to really Google that. This is the only leaf that's having an issue, but the rest are doing wonderful. This is my Peperomia. It's the green plant. Um, yep, the Obtusia. It's similar to that one, 
but all green. So I loved that one. So I was like, let's try this. And this one has a ton of new growth. I just love it. Um, my Echevaria Echo. And it was a double head, but now it's a triple head. It grew its own new one over here for me, which I'm thrilled about. It looks like we have a fourth one coming underneath too. Guys, I grew this from a seed. This is an avocado tree, and I grew it from a seed. It has been planted since 826 of 22, so almost two months, and it's finally sprouted up. It grew roots first, and it sprouted up this tree trunk with this white flower and this green flower kick it off the top. So I am stoked to see what comes of that. Here is my um, Aglionema, which is doing wonderfully. I love this one too. I can't remember the name of her, but this is a brand new leaf. So is this. So this leaf right here, let me see if I can get closer. This leaf right here is brand new. And then these are, this one's new down here too. There you go. This is my Peperomia Hope. Doing wonderfully, as you can see. Massive. And then that's one I'm propagating. And then up top, we've got the... Caparata Silver Heart Radiator Plants. Slow growing, but doing really well. My Wandering Jew. I love this plant. I love the color and the cascading of the purple. Beautiful. This is my Manjula Pothos. So much fun. Absolutely adore her too. Oh, give me a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go fix something. All right, so um, this right here is my Obtunia Sunburst. So um, when I was at one of the department stores one day, um, one of the pieces of this had fallen off the plant and I asked the lady who was there who ran the plants um, and she said, yeah, you can take it home. It's probably not gonna make it, but you can try. And I wanted to try because it was such a pretty plant and I stuck the two pieces that she gave me in soil. This one feels rooted. But this one definitely rooted because it's got a baby. And I'm so excited because this is the prettiest cactus ever. I love the variegation on it. It's just gorgeous. And I planted it in July. So uh, it's about three months old, roughly, maybe a little older. And this is what I'm getting from it. I'm so excited to see what this looks like when it fully does its thing. It's starting to get some variegation, as you can see. But look at how cool that is, how it just sprouts on top. This one, I'm not sure what's going on. This is like, I don't know. But they're both rooted, so I'm just going to let it be and see what happens. Maybe it'll put like a baby off the side or something. I don't know. But it's happy and it's doing well, and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to leave her be. This is one of my favorite plants. I wanted one of these for the longest time. Let me take her out safely because she's very fragile. Um, this right here is a monkey tail cactus. Guys, I wanted one so bad and I finally found one. And then the, the thing, I was so sad. Let me see if I can find a spot to put it down. It was so sad because when I got it home, it caught the corner of my desk and the piece chopped off. But look at, this is new growth that's coming from it and so is this. That's from the piece that got cut off. They're both brand new growths coming from it. I could probably take this off and propagate it because it's just like hanging barely on there. Um, but like, look at this. I took the piece that fell off and attached it in here, over here, and it's doing really well. So, I don't know, I'm just super excited to see where this goes. They are so soft. They like to eventually, they dangle down and they just fall. And they're just really cool and they're soft to pet. They don't hurt you. They're just awesome. I love my monkey tail cactus. So let me put her back here safely. Safe and sound. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So over here, we've got the um, Enjoy Pothos, which I am enjoying because it's a beautiful plant. I love how it's climbing like a dragon and it's got tons of new growth, guys. Look at that variegation. This is going to be a beautiful plant. New baby coming. Absolutely beautiful. There's some that I'm propagating in the back. Here's my Viking that I'm propagating. And tell me that this one didn't take off. Apparently, this one's a very happy plant. So, okay then. Let me put it back where it was because it's happy. Brom, 
Sorry, guys, I don't mean to yell in your ear. My dogs are causing trouble, as always. They are troublemakers, but I love them. All right, here's another philodendron, Brazil. Oh, wait, no. Is this the, yep, this is the Brazil, that's right. So I have two now. This one's huge, lots of growth. And then, I love it. It's growing so beautifully. The last plant I have, guys, is the mandarin spider plant. And I loved the orange effect to this. Um, and it's got a new baby in the center. I absolutely love that color. So I thought that was fun. So I picked her up. She needs some water. Yeah, she's a little dry. We'll get her some water. Um, but she's doing really well. She's growing unbelievably, too, just like that one. So, yeah, guys, that's my plant room. Those are my plants. I know it was still kind of a quick, you know, show and the lighting in here isn't the best at the moment. Um, but once again, if you have any, let me flip this around so you can see me. Gotcha. So if you have any suggestions about any of the stuff that I mentioned, um, you have any ideas that might help me, um, you know, be a better plant mom, I'm completely open to that. Um, I love my babies. Like, they bring me so much joy. I come in here every morning. I spend half my morning in here. I just sit here with them. I look at them. I, I look for new growth. There's nothing like waking up in the morning and coming in your plant room and being like, oh, there's a new baby. You know what I mean? Like, it just makes me so happy. Mm. No, Myers. So my new thing that I'm trying, guys, tell me if you've seen this before. Watch out, watch out. My new thing is these. So somebody on YouTube mentioned using these instead. I'm kind of bummed that I planted all my plants in actual pots. I kind of wish I didn't. But as I repot them, I will fix that. So these are, this has the little tags. These are the clear planters. And they're ones you can squish and they still come back. So which is great. They have a drainage hole, but... You put the soil in here and then stick them in a pot so that you can always move them. Plus, you can monitor the root system, which now thinking about it, I think that's super smart because I can't see what these roots are doing. So like on some of them where I'm like, ah, did I overwater that? Is that what's going on there? I would know if I had a clear pot. Um, so I got these. It was like $10 for 60 of them. I got the three inch, the four inch, the five inch and the six inch. It's um four dif yeah, four different sizes in here. And it even came with these. They were like $9.99 on Amazon. So, I mean, yes, I have more plants than that, but not like the propagating ones, they don't need to really go in these. Um But eventually I think I'm gonna just use these inside all my pots anyways. Cause then too, once they're fully grown, I can just move them to different pots to enjoy them in different pots instead of having to replant them every time, because that's not good for the plant. So it's a lot of stress on them. Um, so I'm super excited to use these in the future and see how well they work. Um, I also picked this up from a plant store. It was on sale 50% off. It's a beautiful new addition to my plant room and I'm super excited to find a spot for it and put some of those plastic planters in it and use it. Guys, look at this. So it is old oil cans. Can you see those? And they are, they have the drainage hole at the bottom, but it hangs. How beautiful is that going to be with the green? Let me show you. Let me see if I can. Myers, Brom, Denver. Let me put my Brazil in here just so you have an idea. I mean, it won't be in that big gray pot, but can you imagine without the gray pot, this just hanging over this? Like how beautiful is that going to be? Hanging. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I haven't decided what plants I'm going to put in it yet. Of course, they'll be. I don't want this to ruin the um, Of course, you know, I'll be able to interchange them. Do you hear my dogs? There we go. Put my Brazil back. Um, of course, I'll be able to interchange them and, you know, and do all kinds of crazy things. But that's going to be hung up in here somewhere. I'm still making some adjustments to this room. Like I found a better table. I'm using an old dog kennel that I had to put my bearded dragon on. But 
eventually I'd like to move that um, kennel to the garage because I don't need it anymore um, and put a little table in here for my bearded dragon so that I can use underneath the table for something. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of working on that because the bearded dragon loves it in here. He feels like home, you know? <laughs> so he's very happy. I want to keep him happy. Mm. But that's my plant room, guys. So I have lots of ideas and plans for this room. I'm super excited to see where she grows to and like just what comes of this room. Um, this room makes me very, very happy. Uh, and that's important right now um, with everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I decided to give it one more go, guys. So if you can keep me in your thoughts and prayers, um, I'm filling out the paperwork and sending it in to the fertility clinic to have them accept me. Um, I'm going to give it one more shot. If it fails, then I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Um, I mean, it, it'll, it'll crush me, but I'm nervous. I'm scared. So I guess I've put all my thoughts into the plants because I figure if I can focus on something else, you know, maybe good will come from it. Um, and then I'm not focused on baby, 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 you know? Um, so I'm going to focus on my plant and give it one more go. And if it doesn't work, well, then maybe there's something else in this world that's meant for me. Um, I may go on a little bit of a hiatus if that's the case, but I uh, will hit that bridge when it comes. I don't want to give myself that negative energy. I want to keep myself thinking positively. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to give it one more go. So please keep me in your thoughts because here goes another round of meds, another round of shots, another round of stress and lots of money. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Looks like I need more coffee, guys. <laughs> but I hope you really enjoyed my plant room. There is this place called Mother. I just want to bring this up to you. You can tell I'm Italian because I go to say goodbye and then I start talking about something else. Anyways, um, Mother has this, it's a company, um, not in the United States, but they sell this plant system. It's called Forest and it goes in the corner of your room and it's got like these little platforms for you to put your plants on and then they have grow lights attached to it. And it's supposed to be phenomenal. And I thought that would be amazing in here until I saw how much it is. I can't afford it. Um, so I wrote to them and I told them I'd love to, you know, to check out their products. And we'll see. I, I love their ideas behind it. I love the company's outlook. I love their products. I just, I'm excited. And I mean, maybe, I doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, so... I'm rambling now and um, I'm going to get going, but I just wanted you to enjoy my plant room as much as I do. And uh, as they get bigger, I'll do another plant room tour. And when I rearrange, I'll show you kind of what I did. And um, hopefully I gain some new plant buddies because I need plant buddies. Uh, and if you have any ideas, tips or tricks, please leave them below. I'm always interested in learning new things about my plants. I did create an entire journal as well for my plants. So each one has its own spot. Um, this is a list an inventory of all my plants uh, that I have that aren't propagating. And then like, you know, here's, just so you have an idea what I'm doing. Here's one of the plants, the white Dalmatian aglonemia or aglonema. So it tells me the date I acquired it, where I purchased it, how much I spent for it, its light requirements, water requirements, fertilization requirements, humidity, soil, water dates, repotting schedule, other details, notes, propagation, and a picture of, I'll attach eventually. So I did that for, ev this took me forever, for every single plant. I'm sure there was a quicker and easier way around that. I didn't want to buy one of those plant journals. It, I don't know. So I decided to make my own. So I'm slowly filling this in and I'll tell you each time I fill it in and I focus on a plant, I learn so much about that plant. So I'm very excited to continue to do this. I left myself about 12 pages for new inventory. <laughs> Cause you know, we need more plants. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
Once again, all right, um, I'm keeping you here. Go ahead, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your Halloween, guys. I'm glad that you came by to see my video. Please hit that like button, it really does help me out. And please share this video. I love, um, you know, getting new subscribers and meeting new plant foes as well. I hope you stay safe, happy, and healthy out there. And until next time, guys, uh, go check out my videos. Enjoy Halloween, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.